the, the first one I liked uh, the idea of helping vulnerable tribal people. You know that ten percent of our population lives in tribal areas, and they have uh, diseases which are far uh, more than those in normal areas. For example, they have TB, they have sickle cell anemia, they have maternal and infant mortality indicators which are far behind the national average. So, looking at vulnerable tribes, looking at their healthcare and sanitation. i think is a very good step uh, also a very good step is uh, looking at the asar report my husband uh, chairs pratham and released the report uh, recently ajay piramal and he said that uh, you know what is showing in the report is uh, the pandemic has had a deep effect on our children uh, luckily the good news is that people are coming back to school especially kids but they have had a loss of learning levels and this means that we must uh, work harder to get our children back into the normal school framework and get our learning levels back to uh, square footing where we can then progress very quickly uh, the third thing is about research and innovation i always wait for this part of the budget because i'm a scientist and i think uh, the pandemic has shown us the effect of good science and the use of good science where other countries have got it wrong our prime minister listened to experts uh, and really did the right thing by giving these vast number of doses free uh, for covid uh, turning around the pandemic so that the growth story of india is now uh, 7% as the fm said 6 to 7% and that's the good news because we can see when we travel that other countries are all facing grave difficulties they're facing difficulties in terms of cost they you know the geopolitical landscape and as well as the services have really declined particularly in healthcare and other uh, service led businesses so i think uh, kudos to the finance minister for doing a balanced budget uh, election budget as it is known but really keeping to the growth story keeping to the infrastructure which will always drive business and growth and really looking at our vulnerable populations whether it is small children who have no voice and also our tribals and also looking at and really looking for research and innovation to lead india to be one of the leading knowledge economies of the world thank you <laughs>